silicon. It's a living fossil. They didn't think so at one time. The silicon, a sea creature living in the depths of 2,300 feet below, seven feet and weighing over 200 pounds. This Lazarus taxus is sometimes called one of the most spectacular living fossils is the silicon, a low thin fish once known only from fossilized remains. This fish was considered by many to be a key transitional form, a missing link between fish and amphibian. Its fossils are found in the Devonian strata, which are assigned a stunning vast age of 400 million years old. But I like God's word. True to form, you get the word however in the blue there. A live silicon hauled up in a fishing net of Madagascar in 1938 showed the same well-designed form as the fossil. It uses its unique fins to orient itself vertically in the deepest sea of the Indian Oceans, not for walking on land from shallow waters. Where is any evidence of natural selection having made even one significant change in this fish over its supposed 400 million years existence? A similar question could be asked of a host of living fossils. This is what the fossil looked like. When they just had the fossil, they could tell us, oh, look at a transitional form. But when we found it, they had to turn back on what was real. Five more minutes, guys. Is that okay, five more minutes, John? Okay. I want you to take a look when they first found this, thinking it was a uh, four million years old, four hundred million years old. I see it! I see it! Uh, four to six thousand years old, but they they saw it as four hundred million. And if we come to a conclusion, look at this picture. What do you see when you look at that picture? Do you see an old lady nose hanging down, or do you see a young woman's nose lifted up? You see, it's a perspective. It's a perspective that each and one of us has. We all see the same picture, and we all have the same evidence. It's the assumptions and the preconceived notions we bring to the Word of God. Every time, it's the assumptions and the preconceived notions we bring into the Word of God. Evolution in one false swoop wipes out life, meaning, and the message of the Messiah without even mentioning his name. Evolution in one false swoop wipes out life, meaning, and the message of the Messiah without even mentioning his name. As for me, for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and holiday. Thank you guys very much. Okay.